fit tip. here at uh, Hunter Physiotherapy and Massage. Uh, we're here today with Robin. Uh, Robin, what brought me here today is I was sitting at my computer and my upper back is killing me. Okay. I don't know what it's from, but I came to see you. Uh, so, so whereabouts are you feeling it? Well, to be up front with you, it's kind of just right in my shoulder blade right here. Okay. When did that start? How many days ago? Uh, I'd say probably within the past week. Okay, so it's recent. Fairly recent, yeah. Okay, what do you do for work? Uh, paper push all day long. Okay, so you sit at a desk on a computer. Okay, so um, have you had any previous injury to that shoulder? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've played high level sport, um, you know. You're always injuring, and you got your hands above your head, creates okay. a lot of injury. So have you done rehab for that shoulder before? Yes. Okay. Yes, All I right. Have. So you're familiar with exercises and things for the shoulder. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I like to take home my homework. Excellent. Um, are you still doing exercises that you used to do for your shoulder? Uh, I have to say probably not because okay. I'm training and weightlifting different, so okay. I think that the chronic problem is probably starting to come back, okay. even more so now that I'm hunched over a computer. All right. So what we need to do is we need to open you up the opposite way. If you're always hunched at a computer, then we need to open you up to open your front body and to strengthen the back body so that your body is strong enough to keep you upright. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So first I'm going to take a look at your shoulder, we'll um, see the range of motion and see if there's any spots that are, if there's any areas that are really tight or if there's very sharp pain anywhere that could, could guide me to something else, something being out of alignment. Um, and then after that we can get into some massage and some exercises and stretches. Okay, great. Um, well. I sure don't want to uh, take into the next step wearing what I'm wearing, so why don't I jump into my Superman outfit and then we'll get into it. Absolutely, sounds great. Alright. So I'm just going to move that shoulder blade around. Sometimes the shoulder blade can get stuck on the ribs. So get into all those muscles around that shoulder blade. <laughs> If it's too much, you let me know. All right. Getting that blood flowing. Finding those spots. And often when you work at a computer, the muscle that lies right on top of the shoulder blade, the infraspinatus muscle, it gets really fatigued. some trigger points in there. So now Robin, all those exercises that you showed me before, um, this will help the shoulder? It will help the shoulder for sure. Okay. Um, it'll help open things up, but it's not going to fix you. The okay. exercises alone won't fix you Okay. because there are alignment issues, um, because there are so many trigger points in the muscles and so much tension in the muscles those exercises will help and they'll be good for you to help you get through your day at work if you're feeling like your back's getting sore your your shoulders getting tight you're getting some pain in your shoulder get up and do your exercises okay but in conjunction with the massage that's what's 
gonna really help you heal. So basically with my health benefit, when I come in, uh, the main thing is to identify with you my areas that are bothering me and you'll help navigate my way back to recovery. Exactly. And each time you come, you know, you may have something else going on. That's right. Speaking of which, is there any other areas that we want to work on today with our hour? Yeah, I think my right knee tends to bother me quite a bit as well. Okay. Uh, so if we could focus a bit of attention on there, it would be appreciated. Absolutely. So after we finish up with this shoulder at the back, I'm going to get you to turn over. Okay, so equally as important as getting into the muscles around the shoulder blade, I also need to get into the muscles in the front of the shoulder. So this isn't always pleasant because these muscles tend to get really, really tight in through the pecs because of our postures every day, the shape that we put ourselves in. So these muscles get tight. So I'm going to open up the okay. pack. Okay. So again, just tell me if it's too much. Tell me if there's any sharp pain. There shouldn't be. I like to work in gently. We have an hour. So just open up those pec muscles, increase that range of motion. I guess it's important, like before, there to remember to keep breathing through this. Yep, keep yeah. breathing. <laughs> what do you recommend for, for water intake um, after a massage? Um, Lots. Keep, lots. Keep hydrated. <laughs> keep hydrated. The the more water you drink, the better you will feel. Um, the muscles and the fascia in our bodies is made up of a lot of water, and we need that water for the muscles to be able to glide on each other smoothly. And when you're dehydrated, those muscles just get stuck together and they can't glide smoothly. They can't work properly together. This isn't a spa. <laughs> <laughs> She's small, but she packs a punch, I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. Usually, like with the ball, when I go like that, that's the only place I can really get it on my own. Right, right. yeah, and, and that's the thing. You can only do so much self-care, uh, you know, on your own, and then you need then you need an expert to come in That's and dig right. in. Save the day. Yeah. Does that feel all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to see that range of motion increase. That's for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we'd work through all those areas. Okay. And depending on what the injury is, what the issues that are going on, would depend on how many times you'd have to come in. Mm -hmm. um, some people just come in once a month for uh, a maintenance massage. Okay. Um, if they're feeling good, they have no real complaints, but they still they want to make sure they keep feeling good. So, would every two weeks be overkill? No. Would every week be overkill? No. Nope. Well, Not for this. Okay. You've got thick tissue, and this is, you know, an ongoing issue. So every week for the first few weeks, just to really break down, break down that tissue and 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 reestablish good habits. Okay. And then we'd reassess after a couple weeks. Okay. And of course, whatever I would do on your bad side, I also do on the good side. Okay not only to keep that balance, but also for me to assess mm -hmm. what that, what the good side, what the, your normal side feels like. Okay. So we would always spend a little time, some time on both sides. Absolutely. So tell me about your knee. Uh, well, one of the things that really tend to bother me is it swells more than this one. Um, I'm not quite sure why that is. When does it swell? Um, 
after high aerobic activity. Okay. So explosive movements. Okay. Yeah. All um, right. Yeah. Jumping. Okay. Do you stretch? Yes. Excellent. So you stretch your quads. Yes. You stretch your hamstrings. Yes. Stretch your calves. Yes. You roll. Do you use a foam roller at all? Yes. Okay. Good. And how often do you do those things? Four to five times a week. Four to five times. Oh, a I thought week. you said forty-five. <laughs> no. <laughs> Four to five times a week. <laughs> okay, that's excellent. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, um, so with the swelling, is there pain as well? Not so much pain. Okay. But. Okay. You could tell well, that it's puffy. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good that there's not pain. Um, you have an old injury to that. That's knee, right. Right. Okay. Yes. So what? What was the initial injury? Uh, floating cartilage. Okay. Um, in the kneecap. Okay. So I believe that uh, I have to get a scope to have the cartilage drained. So that could be out. why it's swelling because there isn't enough cartilage in there to support that joint. So. The body's very good at um, creating other ways to support a joint, mm -hmm. such as increasing the swelling there hmm. to stop you from doing what you are doing. Um, and also, do you find your IT band gets really tight? Yeah, the IT band gets extremely tight. Okay. So, what I know with the IT band, it's not an actual muscle. It's a, it's a band of very thick connective tissue that helps support the outside of the knee joint, but it also supports the hip. So really, really important when treating the IT band, you not only want to foam roll it and massage it, you also need to strengthen the muscles at the hips that support that whole side of the leg. So that's really, really key. So do you do any strengthening for your for your hips at all? Anything specific that you can think of? Yeah, well, I do reverse uh, sit-ups. So okay. I think that would help with it. So the, the part of the muscles that the IT band actually attaches onto is the glute muscle. So mm -hmm. the muscles of the butt. So there's the, there's the glute max, the glute medius, and the glute minimus. And those glute medius and glute minimus that sit more on the side of the hip, those are the ones that you really want to keep strong right. and those are the ones that unless you do very specific exercises just for those you don't ever really target them properly so doing squats or running it's not gonna it's not gonna strengthen them so i so, do an exercise that's like out pushing mm -hmm. and pushing good um, yeah yeah that's good so you use weight to do the yes. very the, lightweight uh, but very lightweight yeah. okay so i'd like to show you another variation of something sure. that will really get those muscles in there firing and you should feel it right through that whole side of your leg working and that's going to help support that knee joint okay. that obviously lacks some support in some way okay. so um so i would like to show you that and we're going to move to the mats to Let's do, that. do that all right so you can hop down off the table yeah, get comfortable, have your elbow right under your shoulder. You can use this hand for support because um, you are going to be staying on your side. It's sometimes nice to take a bit of a bend in the hips so that you just have a little more stability. So there's a whole pile of exercises you can do in sideline position. Um, but I'm going to go through just a few just to get that burn, just so you can feel where that where you want to get that strength. So you're going to lift your foot up off your other foot, lift your top leg, yep, and then you're going to point your toe so that you feel like the whole leg engage, all those muscles are now on. You're going to lift your leg, these are called leg lifts, so you're going to lift and lower, but you're never going to rest that foot, you're going to keep going, going nice and slow. So you want to aim for, if you can start with doing eight of those, and then we'll move into the next exercise. So the next one is like a bicycle motion, so you're going to bend your knee, Without resting, bring it towards your chest. Yeah. And then kick back. Yep. Bring it towards your chest. And kick back. And if you feel like that arm is in the way, you don't need to use it. Yeah. You can even rest yeah, it so here. You can go higher. Yeah, exactly. Get more range of motion. So I want you to keep your foot a bit higher than where it is. Yeah, there you go. Good. And then right after doing about eight of those, you're not gonna rest and you're gonna do big leg lifts. So you're gonna lift high. So do you feel that that leg is? Oh, that leg's burning. Uh, 
we go. We got the burn. Good. And then we're going to do one more. So I'm going to let you rest. You're going to bend your knees. You can do the clown. So you're just going to open up the legs. And at the top, you're going to really squeeze your butt. Because those are the muscles you want to fire. So squeeze at the top and then slowly lower. Great. All right. That's my homework. That's your homework. Are you going to do it? <laughs> I'm doing my homework. All right. So that I'd like you to do at least three times a week. So just add it into your stretching routine. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, that was another fit tip moment. Robin, thank you so much for taking the time to spend with us here today at Hunter's Physiotherapy and Massage. Thank you for coming and I will see you soon. <laughs> Very good. Fit tip, we want to hear about it. Simply log on to coasttocoastsports.net under contact us tab to book. Health and wellness, making life better one day at a time.